All right, we are back in action. Um, I still have that container. So we have things to do. Uh, let's go down into the cargo bay here. That ladder goes up. What? No use climbing it. The upper walkway is blocked as well. It's a universal adhesive that uses nanotechnology. This baby fills up holes and cracks like nothing else. The nanobots inside distribute the material so it's absolutely airtight after it is cured. I'll need something to carry it around in. The glass? I could carry some of the nano glue around in that, but I need something I can use to apply the glue to an exact spot. A syringe? Um... All right. A firecracker. <laughs> One fi It's full of fine leather jackets. And a red herring. <laughs> the containers are blocking the way to the back of the cargo bay. They must have fallen down during the crash. I can't move them by hand. All right, well, we got... Can I... There's not enough glue in the syringe to seal the breach. I'll save this and try patching the hole with a larger dose later. All right, so maybe I just have to save our, our buddy friend. That's on too now. Uh, Novak, can I use... That's not going to seal the suit. It's a seal rod that shot through Novak. I managed to get the rod out and seal the suit, but I don't think he'll be able to move anytime soon. His suit's medhack needs to take care of his wounds again. I'll just leave him here to rest for now. Oh yeah, and I broke the syringe in the process. Sorry <laughs> about that. Okay. Both console. Um, alright. It's a small fracture on the ship's hull. I need to seal it with something. What about the insulation? That won't seal the hull breach. Well, it's insulation. Uh, can I combine these that two? That doesn't need fitting together. Well, I thought these two could be, like, fitted that together. That makes no sense. Alright, well, fine. Ventilation. That turned off the ventilator in the medical room. The readout says that the carbon dot. All right, so let's get out of here. We're making progress. Let's see what's up with this filter now. Um, it's now useless filter, and it's been filled with carbon. I don't know what the hell else you'd put in there. That won't do as a replacement filter. Well, the insulation? That won't do as a replacement filter. A broken fuel cell? That won't... Okay. Um... We still need the... the head from this thing. Red herring. All right. Well, let's see. How do I get the hell out of here? And I should operate the other screen. I can't turn on the ventilator because I've taken out the CO2 filter. I guess I have to figure out how to get out of here. We are going to need to seal the hull. God, I have so much shit, but, like... There's no terrain data. I mean, my guess would be... On the other side of these containers, can I... 
I'll need something with good leverage to move these containers. What about the steel pipe? I'll need something with good... What about the steel rod? All right. I moved the containers out of the way with the steel rod. Cool. One herring will... No use climbing it. All right, let's... A can of beer. Military gas mask. Uh... Can we use that? No you... That's a good idea, except the ventilator and the gas mask don't fit perfectly. Can we use that with it? Ah ha ha ha! Good thinking, except there's nothing covering the back of the gas mask, so the gas would just leak out. Insulation? We're almost there, but first I need to make the mask airtight. How the fuck do I do that? Do I have to uh, nanobot it? I can't fill that with nano glue. I don't want to fill it with nano glue. I can't fill that with nano. You can fill this thing with nano glue. That's right? a good idea, but parts of the glue gun are. What about this? I could carry some of the nano. All right, not quite good enough yet, but we're we're getting there. Uh. There's a small crack behind that. The control panel that opens the rear loading door is acting up. The circuit must have been overloaded when I restored power to the ship. Maybe I can override it. Uh, override it with a screwdriver? I can't use that to override this. With a wrench? I can't use. I can't. I can't use. That. Point. That doesn't require carbon. A firecracker? I can't use that to override the circuit. Uh, electric wires? I have overridden the controls ah. of the electric wires, and the control panel is now working. Open, says me. I still have a couple of things to do here before I venture out into the desert. All right, so it's apparently, empty. Apparently, I'm not done yet. Uh, the nano glue apparently can't be used. What is this thing? Wrap the insulation foil around the back of the gas mask. It'll, I'll be able to apply it to any cylinder once I make it airtight. Uh... One firecrack. It's a universe. It's full of fun. This drain, though. Can I... I can reach the bottom with it. But I can't get that thing down there hooked. I need to figure out some other way to get it out. I won't spill beer on that. Interesting. Could I... I've done my share of analyzing for today. Hmm. Sorry. Um... Are you going to tell me what I can do? Fill that drain. Oh, do I have to beer down there? Uh, oh, do I have to beer down there? I didn't mean for that to give it away. I just wanted a hint of what else to, that I had to do. I've like... poured the beer down the drain. It's filled up, and now there's something floating in it. What a waste of a perfectly horrible can of beer. Is that the applicator head? Yup. I actually didn't expect them to give me that easy of a hint. I thought it was going to be like, this is what you have to do, still. Alright. Let's get you filled with glue. Um, first things first, can we make that airtight? Alright, that is now airtight. Actually, there was a hole breach over here, wasn't there? The glue has sealed the breach almost instantly. 
The breach is sealed. Well, then it's not a breach anymore, is it? Is there a breach in here? Doesn't look like it. There is a breach up here, though. The glue has sealed the breach. Thank you. Um, all right, let's get the mask in here. The gas mask will serve as a temporary CO2 filter. I'll just have to turn the ventilation back on again. Perfect. All right, I think I'm actually getting this. Dude, I'm awesome. <laughs> Um, all right, let's get this on. The readout says that the CO2 levels are starting to normalize throughout the ship. Let's it's get a little... small fraction. Let's get that. The breach. glue has sealed the breach almost instantly. Hey, buddy. I managed to get the rod out and seal the... So that should be it. Right? Let's see if they let me leave yet. This is Novak. I see you're about to go out into the desert. Now listen, try to take care of yourself. You're my only chance of getting off this planet alive. I appreciate your honesty. Now, do you have anything to say, or did you just call to piss me off? Just a recap of what we need. A full energy cell and a spare injector for the reactor. Plus some sort of replacement for the nutritional fluid of the hibernation system. I knew all that. You really do like to play captain, don't you? I don't have to play it. I am the captain. Okay. I uploaded the coordinates of that other ship to your suit, plus some terrain data. Okay, thanks. I'll get back to you when I have something. Pal out. They're gonna be like nasty aliens and shit. Examine sand. It looks like the sand contains high concentrations of salt, Peter. Is that... There's Relevant. no oxygen in the atmosphere. Can I take some of the sand? Let's not bury things in the sand, okay? No, I was just gonna take it. I don't have to be snarky. Um. Oh, so we're Morning Star, okay? Out of Novak. Yes, what is it? Are these coordinates right? I don't see a shipwreck here. No, you're still several clicks off. Oh, come on, man. Where am I then? Hang on. I'll check the terrain data. Uh-huh. It looks like there's a gorge that's several miles long. You'll have to get across it in order to reach that ship. Can I go around? Nah, that would take days. Try to find a path that's not too deep. Or build a bridge for all I care. Just get across. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Just figure something out. This guy, though. Pow out. Weird stone heads. I'm almost certain that this is not a naturally occurring phenomenon. They seem to be made out of some sort of smooth stone, stand about twice as tall as I do, and they look really creepy. Thank God they don't have eyes. Interesting. Insect repellent. Contains sulfur. Probably relevant. It's a massive stone pillar. If my eyes don't deceive me, it's slightly taller than the distance between the two sides of the gorge. Several stones are loose at the bottom of it, on the side facing the gorge. I know it sounds crazy, but can't you use that pillar at the gorge of the bridge? All you need to do is move the loose stones at the bottom of it. Yeah, that's what I was no, going to do, firecracker it. Hmm, could work. I'll look into it. And... kaboom. If I'm going to move this thing, I'll need more than simple tools. Right, a firecracker. If no? I'm going to... Okay. Um... I don't want to mix it with that. If I'm going to move this thing, I should try to move those rocks away from the base. From the looks of it, they're going to need a big push. Well, yeah, the... If I'm driver. going to need more than simple tools, all right. Like I, a, a firecracker, I figured is. If I'm going, red herring. If I'm going, the bridge was torn down. I don't think I can use it to get down to the ledge. 
The remaining cable isn't long enough. It's too wide. I can't even jump it. I already... Interesting. I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head. I would have, I would have really thought, let's see here, I think it goes off in about five seconds. Alright, so that's apparently not it. I don't want to light that on fire. I mean, theoretically, it contains sulfur. If I'm going to... If I'm... Yeah, I don't think anything we have here will... I'm almost certain that this is not a nap. Uh, can we do anything with it? I don't want to bother them. They're spooky. There's a corpse on the ledge. Poor guy must have fallen down there when the bridge was destroyed. I can see a cargo container, too. It's too dark down there. I can't see a thing. Can I throw the light down? If I throw something down there, it has to be something that emits light. Alright. Let's go check out Morningstar. I mean, this saltpeter... Let's not bear... Oh, so I can just take it. I've got enough. Can I use that? Um. Can I use the saltpeter? If I'm going to move this. Fuck. With sulfur? Alright. For gunpowder. Uh, what's the last con. Just this, right? I don't want to light that. If I'm going to move the... I don't know what else goes in the gunpowder. Sulfur, saltpeter... Carbon? It's black gunpowder. All we need is a match and some distance. I've placed the CO2 filter with the gunpowder in it at the base of the pillar, deep in the sand, and then packed it down with several large boulders. Now can I firecracker it? Yes! Alright! Wow, I must admit, I did not expect that to work. I didn't either. But I guess that's what happens when you're as amazing as this me. This one already has the remains of the bridge tied to it. Unfortunately, I can't go down to the ledge on this. I can't go down until I have rope or something I can tie onto the free pylon. I wouldn't dare use the remains of the bridge. All right. Well, that's... Looks like someone tried to build a bridge here. It's unclear whether they succeeded before it was destroyed. The pylon's a bit... All right, so we can use that to descend. Um... Powder Novak, are you seeing this? Yep, looks bad. It seems to have been ripped apart. It's possible they were caught in the same gravitational disturbance as we. But this looks like a Taurus class cruiser, the big sister of our morning star. Yeah, about that anomaly. Did you scan for it? Yep, but the computer is unable to pinpoint its location. All we know it's somewhere on this planet, and we need to get rid of it to take off. Otherwise, we'd be doing this all over again. Got Wait. it. I'll take a look around inside. Maybe I can find out what happened to these people. Alright folks, well that looks like a pretty good place to, uh crash off here. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching, everybody.